1470 AM at TrentoVision.tv from the world's leading think tank laboratory, buried deep in an undisclosed building in hostile territory where evil and corruption is exposed. You're about to enter the Tom Trento Show. A group that says it defends Western civilization against the onslaught of Islam. Hi, this is Tom Trento at the Tom Trento Show, and we're having a great, great <laughs> Thursday today. Is and it Thursday it's today? It's Thursday, and being Tom Trento, I can say anything I want to on national radio and just, you know, Yeah, well, why don't everything. you just powder your nose? Well, I'm not Check Tom your Trento. face. This is oh, somebody else. Oh, yeah. Who is this? Somebody with a really <laughs> big head. With a pink, well, I do have the pink compact. Hello and welcome to Trento Vision. <laughs> Minus Trento today. My, well, we do have the vision, though. Yeah. We do have the vision. No, 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 no. Hey, you be quiet. You be quiet. Tom no, Trento no. in the penalty box today. <laughs> <laughs> he is not allowed to say anything. Cause That's he, right. He has to sit there and crunch in silence. Crunch in silence today. That's what he has to do. That's right. So who are you, anyway? I'm J. Mark Campbell. Jessica J. Mark Mar Campbell. Jessica Mark Campbell. Jessica Mark Campbell. Jessica Mark Everybody Campbell. learned yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so... Any, just you like just you, love I, sitting up here, don't you? I just love sitting you? up here. I'm just taking over the whole show now. So okay. Just, I moved into your seat yesterday, CJ, mm -hmm. and now yes, I'm and in the Yes, and the cooties are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to talk about today, CJ? I don't know. I think you're going to pick topics, and I'm going to argue with you. No, you pick the topics, and I'll argue with okay, you. Okay, why don't we do some housekeeping first? Let's talk about who we are, <laughs> why we're here, what we like, what we don't like. Okay, go ahead. All right. We are Trento Vision on WNN 1470 AM, broadcasting to you live from Miami all the way up to Orlando, Florida. You can listen to us on iHeartRadio. Just download the app for I your smartphone. It. And where is your phone? You don't have I it? Don't, it's on, though. It's on my pocket, so it rings at any you moment. You can time. watch us on trentovision.tv yes on the tea party community.com hello tar Hi. tea party people Hi, tpc tpc um you can click on us when you're reading bare naked islam they got the little trentovision button for you to click Yes, they do. If you miss the show at 5 o'clock, you can watch us on the archives, which are located at youtube.com slash the United West. Yes, it is. And uh, if you missed yesterday's show, which I did, you can go back and, you can go back and uh, check and it out. And they're all listed by date and everything. And like they're that. listed so by date, date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. So a good place to and go. You can also visit us at theunitedwest.org. Yes, you can. And what can they do while they're on theunitedwest.org? Oh, they can hit that little button in the upper right Hit corner. that little donate securely button. You know why they have to hit that little securely button, CJ? Why? Is because... The bad guys are kicking our butts financially. They have the uh, Al Gore Jazeera network. Al Gore Zira. Opened up 12, 12 new, was it, what was it, 12? 13, I think. 13? Lucky 13. 13. 13 uh, news outlets in the United States. That's exactly right. 12. Are there 12. any in Florida? Miami. 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 So, so if this show doesn't take off, do you think we could get jobs at Al Jazeera? I have already we, been offered one. You, you have been. Oh, well, thank you. Let's oh, I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive my lack of manners, everybody. In addition to Tom Trento, who's going to be quiet today and crunch quietly in the corner, the penalty box. <laughs> That's right. We also have with us Imam Abdullah, I fool you, you fools. Say hello, Mr. Uh, Abdullah. I'm infidels. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tell me I'm your favorite infidel. I love it when you, you say that. You are my favorite infidel. Yeah, that oh, got me hooked I'm like the first yeah, day. We, yeah. I think he got hired the next day I after he did. that. He did. Yeah. yeah. Go far, please. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Who else do we have with us today? 
Nobody, just me, you, CJ. Just us? Just us. Just us and the, and the imam. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, we do have, you know, Al, Al Jazeera broadcasting across the nation here now. Yeah, but is anybody listening? Actually, I they, bet more people watch us than Al Jazeera. Yeah. So, uh, Imam Abdullah, you heard Al, you watch Al Jazeera today? I was watching earlier, yes. What do you think Fantastic. of the programming? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yep, and if you talk on the other side of the mic, it probably could hear you better. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Ricky, if you switch to seat, I can't have to... Uh-oh, I can't side, hear him at all. The other side of the mic. There you go. Is this better? There. Oh, oh directional. <laughs> directional oh. mic, yes. Let's see. Yeah, yes, you're, you're on the opposite side of the table tonight. We actually have him running the actually switchboard today and everything. I know, I know. That's it why there's helping. nothing to see. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you think of the, uh, the Al the Al programming today? Huh? It was fantastic. It was an absolute uh, defense of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. It mm -hmm. was. Absolutely. There was a very nice young hijabed woman yes. uh, talking about uh, the only thing uh, that Morsi lacked was time. Uh, that uh, most of the country, uh, this is uh, somewhat of an even split. And uh, this is absolutely military coup. Uh, the military is uh, trampling on human rights. And so they should defund the military then for uh, for it being a coup, the United States, because we're not allowed to fund the military if it's a coup, correct? Well, that is something I will not talk about. Okay. I mean, was, you can now still was send this the money. Listen, I, I recommend you still send the money. You do not want them to hate you. Was oh, this a woman okay. in a hijab, or was yes, this Barack yes. Obama's talking points? No, no, no points? full hijab. She was a full hijab woman. It was yeah. absolutely uh, astounding to get the real truth, finally. The real truth. Al Jazeera, the real truth. Uh, maybe okay. I should, yeah. maybe I should wear one for uh, Jumpin' Juma. What do Jumpin you think? Jumpin' Juma, Freaky Friday, put you in yeah. a new job, and, and we'll just treat you like garbage the whole day. And that would be different than every <laughs> other day. In what way? <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that yeah, because you true. guys were very nice very to nice me, to you, and yeah. our excellent, lovely producer Damon um, made an excellent cup of coffee for me, which I really appreciate. Yes, that's good. That's good. So, oh, and uh, there was some very, very good news um, yes. as far as Egypt goes. Uh, well, uh, good news is depending on uh, whose side you are on. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, something happened today over there that, um, you know, one month ago you never would have expected. Egypt's Mubarak flown from prison to hospital sources. So w w what's happening with him? He, he just decided that they decided to let him go and he can go wherever he wants to or, or, or he just and he's flying him to a hospital for now yeah okay well that's okay. a good thing i guess you know yeah i guess he'll be heavily guarded yeah do you think he's safe in egypt a lot safer than everybody else in egypt i mean Safer than the Christians. <laughs> Safer than the Jews. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but our friend Al Sisi is going to go ahead and uh, rebuild all the burned down churches. Yes, well, but in the, you see that? in the meantime, uh, the He's brothers. He's not going to stop them from getting burned down to begin but with, but he'll rebuild them after well, they're burned when, down. Well, when they're rebuilt, do they get, do, can they go higher than the mosque, or, or, or do they have to be rebuilt lower than any mosque in Egypt? What, what's, what's the regulation? I think, I think uh, they all have to be lower, according right? According to Islamic law, you know the answer. Uh, of course, there is not allowed to be, be a church so higher than. And the reason for that is why? Because of Islam's supremacy. Supremacy. Oh, cool. So if you have a church over there in... You're lucky that it is not burnt down, first of all. Okay, I'll agree with you there. And the second reason is because, you know, you must you know, submit to Islam, is that yes, correct? Yes, dimitud. Oh, oh dimitud, okay, there you go. Okay, that's the word I was looking for, dimitud. Uh, uh. And so, is, is, is that supposed to also happen in America also? I mean, Eventually, yes. And so, well, I noticed when I was in Dearborn at one time, when we went there, oh, and they had, they had the big green mosque no. up there. And I noticed that that one was much higher than all the other churches that were around. Mm -hmm. And here's something else I thought, I don't know, call me stupid, I thought it was strange, was that there was no synagogues in Dearborn. <laughs> in fact, there was no really strange, any Jewish too? centers or anything like that. It seems like, you know, when the mosques start to build up really high mm -hmm. and they get really big and all mm -hmm. the churches go into subservient mode. Mm -hmm. Something happens to the Jewish people, which is kind of strange. They just disappear. They just pick up the clues and they, they leave. leave. They leave. Do you, do you but isn't Dearborn right, like right by Detroit? 
Yeah, yes. it also, and you know what? I noticed also in Detroit. <laughs> so aren't they leaving Detroit also? Actually, that's a strange thing because I went to look for a synagogue in Detroit. Uh huh. And I'm not even Jewish. I just want to check it out to see if, what it's like over there in Detroit. And mm-hmm. since, you know, since it's in the middle of all, a lot of this Muslim anti hatred stuff. And I went to go look for a local synagogue there and mm-hmm. see, talk to the rabbi, you know, get his input. And maybe mm-hmm. he has some insight that I don't have. And the strange thing about it was. I couldn't find one. You couldn't find one? In Did Detroit. you Google synagogues in Detroit? Go, Google synagogues in Detroit. Let's do that right now. Yeah, I'm going to do little, that while you're talking. a little wacky thing, but I don't even think it was a synagogue. It was like some type of Jewish something, but it wasn't even, you know, one of those fake Jewish things you see all the time. Fake Jewish things? Yeah, you know, what you call them, whatever, I don't know. But... No, but that seems to happen quite consistently, you know, with this with the Jewish people. They're always seem they always seem to disappear and and, and oh. you know that the <coughs> Jewish hatred Look at over that. there too. When I Google it, you know what comes out on top? What? The lost synagogues of Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not get off the subject because we actually, okay. actually, since I wasn't here yesterday, I was hoping you guys could catch me up on what I missed. Well, there was, you know, we did have a three-part expose of of our friend Ahmed Badir. Yeah, and I was really guy. looking forward to the Wednesday show, and I missed it. Yes, and uh, what else did we learn about Imam? Oh, yesterday we uh, gave uh, your president uh, his summer grades and uh, we, oh, he was right. given an that's A right. plus on uh, surfing the waves he was given the A plus on playing with the children uh, he was given an A plus on the amount of golf but not the quality of not golf, the quality of golf. <laughs> and as far as defending uh, Christianity he was given an F an F. an F on Christianity? Yes, yes. Right. by your okay. boss, the Ayatollah of uh, Islamophobia, uh, yeah. Mr. Tom Trento himself, who broadcast. gave your president yeah. an F on defending his Christian religion. But he did asterisk it. The, the Christianity was given an asterisk because some people actually question your president's Christianity. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of people um, in this country and all over the world, actually, who think that... Um, President Barack Hussein Obama is actually a Muslim. And if he is, does that matter or not? Actually, quite honestly, Mm. CJ, I could care less whether he's a Muslim or not. Mm -hmm. I just look at the people he puts around him who are all bad, bad Muslim Brotherhood operatives. I mean, from what was it? They had a list out there of of, of nine different people that he. That's the short list. That's the short list. I know Ahmed Badir has been to the White House, you know, two or three times to re- give his reports on Egypt mm-hmm. and, to, you know, give his status update on, you know, ALAC and how he won ALAC in American Florida. laws for American right. courts. American laws for he American such courts. A that Why that should that even be a controversy? American laws for American court. We live in the United States. Well, well, we went over many of the policies. Uh, why that is uh, not good for America? Right. Can I show you a lovely picture of the mosque in Dearborn? Oh yeah. Uh, Would you like to see the pretty, yes, yes, pretty yes, yes, mosque right, in right, Dearborn? Right. Look at this. Oh, that's that's oh. exactly what. And you look right off to the left and right of that thing, you'll see you'll see churches. I was standing right there when a guy tried to, well, I wasn't standing there, one of the other people was standing there, when, when a person came out of that parking lot right to the right of that mosque there mm-hmm. and uh, tried to run over, uh, you remember uh, Israel, uh, what was his name, Israel, uh, the guy who, the Muslim stony, the guy who got stoned by Muslims. Oh, yeah. You know, he was standing out there holding up a sign, a guy came out of the mosque, sped his car over towards him uh-huh. and tried and was going to run him over, and there's two Dearborn cops. There's a cop o- off to the left. Was there's he practicing o- for his taxi cab license? <laughs> <laughs> well, give him an extra story. <laughs> oh. But yeah, Reuben Israel, that was his name. Reuben Israel, mm-hmm. the man who was in Dearborn, mm-hmm. who uh, got him and his crew went up there, and they got stoned by the Muslims, a 20-minute video that we put out that's got a million hits on it and everything like that. Yeah. He, he was... Uh, wait a st- minute, wait a minute. This is a really good video. 
Yes. If they go to the archives, can right. they go to YouTube.com or do they go to the United all West? To do, all you have to do is Google Muslims stone, American Muslim stone Christians in Dearborn. But you'll see American Muslim stone Christians. American and it's a, it's a, Muslim right. stones Christians. Right. And you'll see it's a 20 minute uh, video we did before the election. Uh huh. And it's it's just a fascinating story to watch the whole thing just open up in front of your eyes and how and when I say they stone them they literally throwing stones bottles crates uh, water bottles I thought you meant everything. they were smoking the marijuanas no 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 they were actually no they were not passing around the peace pipe now what's really good in, in, in the since that video came out mm -hmm. there's a big uproar in uh, Dearborn and when that uproar happened, it went to the city council and they actually stopped next year's Arab festival, which it all occurred at, which I found quite interesting. So our videos and our work are having some direct impact you know, around the country. Well, they stopped the Arab festival because what they were doing is they were arresting Christians yes. at the Arab festival for yes. handing out Christian literature Ooh, in yes. public and offending Muslims on the streets right. of the U.S. Hey, Mark. Yes. I think I found the guy who tried to run you over in Dearborn. Ruben Israel? No. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, no. That New York. <laughs> oh, the there he is. <laughs> the cabbie. Yeah, no, what, read, what, it, for, read yeah. it for the radio audience because right. I can't see the screen uh, there. 23-year-old woman's foot severed as cab mounts curb in road rage duel with bicyclist. So, of course, it was widely reported that that the cabbie, you know, was, was driving was, while well, Muslim. Driving while Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first of all, you just a DWI say, driving with <laughs> Islam. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I've been to New York many, many times, and I've never been in a cab that didn't have like a oh, fifty. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> About that guy? That guy right there, yeah. And yeah. why does it matter what his religion is? Yeah. Why would that matter what his religion is? Because yeah. there have been about a dozen Muslim cab drivers around the country that have run people over mm -hmm. and attempted to run them over in the last few years. And no. Inspire Magazine has actually recommended um, people armor their cars up and put blades and all that stuff on it to mow people down. Inspire so magazine, that's that's the the magazine of Al-Qaeda, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes it is. All right. And also there was the uh, you know the Said sisters, the guy he, he was a uh, you know taxi driver who ran over the uh, Said. No, no, that's when he got shot. There's another one after that where the guy's a taxi driver who he actually ran people over. Oh my gosh. I don't. It's you know, it's just rage that. Are there not? Are there non-Muslim taxi drivers deliberately driving people over? Uh, Have there been any cases of Christian think, taxi drivers driving one. people I over? I get to hear that. Oh, that's a good point, CJ. Yeah. yeah. It always seems. Another to be thing about taxi drivers is in different cities across. Uh, America, right. they refuse to take people to the liquor store oh, or yeah, to pick people up well, from nightclubs or it? to drive people who have seen eye dogs. Mm -hmm. And um, and then if they lose their licenses, they sue so, the cities or the right. counties for discrimination against of, Islam, which is that. all part of lawfare. That's right. It's all part of the... And also uh, the taxi cab drivers were demanding foot baths at, at, at airports and they're, you know, because they got, have to do their wudu and they're they're trying to do all these special, like, oh, we can't do this because of our religion. Right. And it's a, it's a, it's a slow jihad right. that we keep talking about. Yeah. It, it's never one big huge thing. It's just a, you know, it's that nudge theory where you just keep nudging people over. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. the same theory a lot of times. It's like it. sending uh, young women to apply for jobs at uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. Right. They don't wear their hijabs when they go to apply for the jobs. No. They know what the store sells. Right. They know what the girls wear when exactly. they work there. They get the jobs, and then they want to come to work and wear their hijabs. And then when the manager says, excuse me, you're supposed to run around here in a tank top and Daisy Mays, right. or whatever it is that you're supposed to wear while you're working there, 
and then they say, oh, discrimination, and they sue Abercrombie. <laughs> or they get, yep. they're told, I'm sure it must come from the mosques, because they're told deliberately, go get jobs in places where it's going to conflict with mm -hmm. Islam. So yes. go get a job at Target and refuse to scan pepperoni pizzas because touching a product that has pork in pork it is in against it. your religion. And then when the manager says, well, you can't be a cashier here anymore because you can't decide what you're going to scan or not scan, then you can um, threaten and sue the Target Corporation mm -hmm. Another example of lawfare. Now, here's another interesting point, too. When we were up in Dearborn, and for some strange reason, all the signs are in Islam, everything is, you know, Arabic, everything is, uh, you know, all, all the restaurants, all the businesses are all Muslim. All the, all the workstations are, are pretty much all Muslim. And we're talking with people who are Christians there, mm -hmm. and they try to get a, get, a, get a job in one of these places. Oh, you can't. And they're saying, I'm, I'm discriminated all the time because I'm Christian. Right. And, they, and they're saying, you know, it, it's rampant, you know, racism against, well, first of all, Jews, Jews aren't even in the city. Right. Christians who try to go get jobs out of there are just, they can't get them. And if they do get a job, it's some menial, low-paying job. It's, it's never, you never own a business and, and things like that and have any su success. In it. That's, that's what we're being told up there. So. Wow. It's just very, very With sad. With the collapse of Detroit, there's no reason for anybody to and be there anyway. And you wonder why Detroit is going bankrupt. Well, I don't think it's because of there's the Muslims. There's no Jews left. That's no, why. It's the social... Well, no, actually, it is one of the problems. Schmucky has a point. It actually is. Well, one, what I'm saying is as far as when the, these Muslim communities, they come in and they go into cities and they go into varying cities across the nation, mm -hmm. but when they come in, they have many multiple wives you know the man does and then a lot of these women be, are listed as single mothers and they get welfare they get food stamps they get all this other stuff so it's a big multiplying effect especially when you have six you know kids per children and that drains the resources off society and plus the it's well, that's happening. Effect. That's happening a lot in Europe, but I don't think that's responsible for the demise of Detroit. Not Detroit per se. But I I'm think it's I think the Democrat it. Party I'll, I'll, and 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 I'll the, agree with you the corruption of the left and the refusal of Americans who live in Detroit to actually um, I'll work. Agree. I'm agreeing with you, CG. I'm not disagreeing. Is with what's you. responsible? I'm saying it's an it's a additive cause is doesn't that solve the problem it exacerbates the problem to a further degree okay okay right. and mo and if you go into you know detroit the whole area is becoming more and more hijabed up as i call it yeah because that's their flag the hijab well you is see flag. that every you see that everywhere though i mean and, you see that here in south florida and ask yourself the question okay 10 years ago, 20 years ago, before 9-11, after 9-11. Right. Just a simple before 9-11, after 9-11. Right. Have you started to see, and everybody in the listening audience, ask yourself this question. Have you started seeing more and more and more hijabs, mm -hmm. more and more and more Islamic dress, right. more and more and more, or have you seen less? Because I go to universities, and I oh, see forget it. I see hijabs yeah. all over the place. Yeah. I go down to the Tampa and it's all hijabed up down there. Yeah. And up I want there. to you know make the, make this point because the hijab is not just a covering for the women. It's no, actually, it's, it's to it's to intimidate the surrounding culture right. is what it is. It's, it's to flag. say it, it's, it's planting the flag. It's, it's saying flag. we're here um, and you're going to submit to us. That's right. And if you look at if you look at how people look at the women who are wearing right. the hijab like if you're at Publix or something like that the grocery store you see you just see there's like a natural uh, recoil right like you're gonna create a space between yourself and the women and children who are wearing their head scarves like Ugh, I'm yeah. not supposed to be near them like like it's this radiating armor against the rest of us yes. of we've created this no-go zone around ourselves by wearing this stuff and it's also a a sign to the islamic community who was before 9 11 who was here who wasn't all hijabed up and now right they are right it, it it's a notification that you know what we're returning to you know muslim brotherhood 
dominated values, jihad as our way, you know, and yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. And that flows right into our other story, which we're talking about too, is... is is a underwear model converting to Islam mm -hmm. to marry a Muslim. I don't want to flash my boobs anymore. Yeah. Well, just don't flash your boobs. <laughs> just don't okay. flash your boobs. That's yeah. a true story, <laughs> by the way. It is a true story. That's a true story. Damon, do you have that one? Nope. You, oh, I thought yeah, you I that sent one. it to you. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you did. Yeah. Underwear model converting to Islam. You know what Islam. happened. I know what is happened. Is it on your thingy? I know thingy? what happened. Imam Abdullah got rid of it before you could show that, did he not? Uh -oh. That is very imp impropriety. Carly Watts has announced that she is giving up her career and converting to Islam to marry the love of her life, and it's got uh, the after and before picture. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look at it. She's still wearing <laughs> lipstick, we'll put this though. the Islamic screening process. And, and see, maybe, maybe we can, can we see She both fell in love with a 25-year-old lifeguard while she was on vacation in Tunisia. Like, who goes to Tunisia for vacation anyway? <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to speculate. Yeah. Have you ever seen, this is actually pretty funny. Have you ever seen the Islamic bathing suit? Oh, yes. I saw Janet Jackson wearing oh, one. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it, God. if you were a liberal, okay, I'll just say, if you're a liberal, you should be like screaming at the top of your lungs looking at the Islamic bathing If you bathing thought suit. it was hot in the studio. That's <laughs> I'm telling you, it's oh really, God, really it's bad. Hard. You look so at where it? are we? We're at uh, 27 after 27. five yes, on Thursday. What's the date today? What is the date? 22nd. There's your girl. Oh, oh there, there she, she is. is. Oh, her. oh, there she is. Yeah. yeah go ahead and do a, a. Can you control plus plus that? Get a good get an image of that so everybody okay. can see it. That's it, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Look she's at actually that. kind of cute, you know. Both, yeah, well, both she's an underwear cute. model. She's supposed to be cute. I mean, although they don't have a picture of her in her, her underwear. Did she change her hair color, too? Uh, she, she might have, on? but she doesn't show any hair anymore. Oh, she that's doesn't right. show her hair show anymore. Hair. That's right. Yeah. That's what it is. That's because hair, hair is uh, very seductive to men, and we have no control over ourselves. Isn't that right, Imam? Most absolutely definite. So men have absolutely no control, <laughs> and so therefore the women Wait must cover minute. themselves. Oh my gosh! So the women must cover themselves to stop us. Apparently, I must We're cover myself as well, yes. according to my email that I just got from there somebody. There is a big picture right. of your woman. I just got an email from somebody get? who watches Trento Vision. Yes. Commenting on my appearance. What? Well, apparently, my glasses are not good enough for television, and I should get a more flattering pair. Burn it securely. What's wrong with your glasses? I don't know what's wrong okay, with my glasses. I didn't securely. read the rest <laughs> of securely. the email. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys like better? You like the left or the right? I, uh, I don't know. Well, which left and which right? Like, who's left and who's oh, right? No, the, the, on the left is the... Your left and the, Mark's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And, yeah, we were talking, but this is a very important point here, though. It's uh -oh. about, uh, important you know, point alert. Yeah, important. Why do women cover themselves is because. Because the men because can't control themselves. Yes, right. because we act like animals. We, we cannot be expected to control ourselves. Uh, hence, uh, if a woman is not covered and uh, she is assaulted, it is the fault of the woman. Oh. We're not covering up. She Can should like not tempt us. It's Is that like why 98% mm -hmm. of the rapes in, uh, in Sweden or mm -hmm. the yes, UK the are committed by Muslims? That's right. The, the high increase because obviously the white, blonde uh, women up in Norway are just running around, you know, looking like our underwear model there. And therefore, it's, you know. Actually, they I, dress very nicely. How can a man help himself? How can a man help himself but to rape somebody like that? And how can a man control himself to not, you know. You know, I on, never should logic. have picked that story because Mark has just been dying for months <laughs> to, to, to do it. a special on Islam and sex. And sex, that's right. We're going sex to Sex and Islam. Well, I, I really do think it's the cornerstone of, of, of what this whole 
cultural, not, not, the, not the Muslim Brotherhood stuff, that's a separate thing, that's the political aspect, mm -hmm. but the culture stuff, when it comes back down to its core essence, it has to do with it's the sex control. and violence. It comes down to control and subjugation of women. You have to control the women because the men can't control themselves. And if the They're men can control themselves, they can't loot and pillage from their neighbors, right? There you go. And it's, the, and it's what, you know, Islam is founded upon. And by, you look throughout the Quran, you must control. Men have, are, are superior or dominant. Women in, in the Quran are worth half our property. And so, you know, you don't dress up your property and let some other body steal it or take advantage of it. And that's what, you know, women Yeah, are. but you paint your house a nice color or something like that. Does that mean that... No, it's that, all about purity. ...that it, it, the neighbors have the right to come and rob you? No, but the thing about it is... With I've Islam, come to you steal must, your paint. You I must, come to steal your paintings. You must keep the tribe, the family, pure, because pureness is honor in Islam. When we say the word honor in America, we have one picture or definition of the word honor. Islam has a completely different picture of the word honor. Honor is family purity, sexual purity, and keeping the name pure. The, and it's almost like the old, old you know, school way back when where if your daughter got pregnant, you had to kill her, or she was shamed, she shamed the family. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. not in this country. In this country, years ago, if your daughter got pregnant, you sent her away to boarding school for oh. a year, <laughs> and then well, you no, brought no, her I'm home. Talking, that was years before that. Is, is when before it, that in this yeah. country? That's yeah. why I drafted uh, Anthony Weiner in the Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever happened to him anyway? Yeah, he he's running there? for mayor with an 80% disapproval rate. Oh, he's still in? He's he's still he he's hasn't spent against, all his money he's yet. He's running against Michael Bloomberg's lesbian assistant. Oh, oh right. Okay. So yeah. you have a choice of a deviant, sick guy like Wiener or a total left-wing liberal lesbian that's been working for the little Napoleon Bloomberg for years. Okay. Oh, gosh. Good luck, New York. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did you guys uh, hear that Bradley Manning got uh, sentenced? Oh, he did? Yes, he what did. Happened? And what, what did he get? What did he get? 35 years. 35 years? 35? But he could That's be That's fantastic. No, because he could possibly be out in as little as seven or eight if he's a good boy. Uh, well, but he probably will be a, a good really girl. good boy, right? Or a good girl. What do you mean by that? <laughs> 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 well, he's got a little. I've heard he's, you know, not quite happy with his sexuality. Is that Bradley Manning? Just saying, dressed that's up Chelsea like Chelsea Manning that's and Bradley. Oh, oh wait, that's his that's sister. One. That's his no, sister. No, no, that that that's that's also Bradley. Hold Manning. on, this one has a blonde wig on. And yeah, it does. And, and Bradley is and the one that, in the uniform. Yes. So the same guy who's in the uniform is the same blonde looking girl on the left? Correct. Well, actually looks better as a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I had to say, you know, not well, that looking of a guy. Well, you know, it's you not know, it just cool. that he likes yeah, to throw yeah. a wig on. He believes oh, he's, he wants to, he to, wants to be a thing. woman. He wants to he wants is to that going to be grounds for an appeal for him? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Okay. No? So this Are is, you sure? So what did he say? Is he, he going to get a taxpayer-funded operation? Well, here we go. This is um, earlier today on the Today Show, actually. Manning's lawyer, David Coombs, uh, mm -hmm. was discussing it. And he said uh, that he'll take action. He'll take action if the Army doesn't provide Manning with the hormone therapy that he's requesting of the military prison oh, at Fort that's Leavenworth, right. he Kansas. Oh, right. civilian prison. Hold he on. a military prison. I'm that's hoping right. Fort Leavenworth would do the right thing and provide that. If Fort Leavenworth does not, then I am going to do everything in my power to make sure that they are forced to do so. So, so if he wants to have the whole sex change operation. Well, wait a minute. That sounds even more extreme than Guantanamo detainees right. protesting right. the lack of olives and honey on their lunch trays. Yes, it does. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for giving me time for that. What's but. that? <laughs> Thanks for giving me time to cue that one up. Well, I thought it was a logical segue. I know, and I'm working 
You're doing right. really, really well. You're doing really, really well. And, we're, and we're, Tom, we're I have to, I have to credit Tom because, in case you thought that he wasn't here, he is here. <laughs> he's listening. He's smirking. He's, he's catching laughing. up on <laughs> his <laughs> emails <laughs> in the penalty box, and he's looking around and he's saying to himself, "I am never, ever." <laughs> Letting those two Ruin do my good the name. show without me again. <laughs> Ruining my good Come name. to work today and find out there's no host. <laughs> there's no script. There's no time to start. <laughs> there's no, time. There's so no subject. There's no <laughs> graphics. There's no video. There's... Just me. This guy <laughs> and me, who needs new glasses. Yeah, your new glasses. That's what you need. And what, what are we need. supposed to be doing? We talked about all these different topics That's before right. the show. We brought up 15 <laughs> different stories yeah, on our little iPads and computers. Okay, so you could stop and go back to the story you wanted to talk about. Did I give you enough time? The story you wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 9-11 defendant, Ramsey, uh, how do you pronounce that? What, how do you pronounce that? Bin al-Sheeb. Bin al-Sheeb. Rants about withheld olives, honey in Guantanamo Bay. I mean, what, the, what, what the heck is that all about? They treat us like animals, okay? That, there is a reason why we, why we attack you, big Satan, and also little Satan. Right. You abu- once you have us, you abuse us. To not provide a prisoner the proper amount of olives and honey is a tantamount to a cruel and unusual punishment. So and that is why we blow up your buildings. <laughs> I think we should blow up Guantanamo. Should we blow up Guantanamo? We Can I say that? that? <laughs> Can I so say that on no. the radio? No, you cannot because that is American and that could wind you in jail, no, stupid. That's true, that's oh, true. So you okay. I was Alan. just kidding you when I said that. that. Ideologically. <laughs> Ideologically. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ideologically. what happens when Ideologically, you show metaphorically. <laughs> blowing up Guantanamo. <laughs> We're going to have the FCC <laughs> on us now. <laughs> or is it the oh, FEC? Uh, or is it the IRS? Uh, hey, it's all By the, the same way, thing. By the way, when we mention. It's all the same thing. When yeah. we mention the IRS, we're supposed to also mention that we are. 501c3. 501c3. And that means when you donate securely, you get. A tax donation. A tax deduction. $100,000 checks. Take half of them. Think of all the money you could save by donating to us. Instead of Instead of dumping your money to a bunch of politicians under the C4 status and you get nothing, you should. Yeah, they don't even win. They don't even win. So don't, you know what? That super PAC you've been giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to, really don't bother because the Christians in that district are never going to vote for your guy anyway. And if your candidate's a good candidate, it supports Okay, I was saying that because I was hoping at least to see Tom's eyebrows go up (laughs) on that one. The Christians in that district aren't going to vote anyway. He didn't even bite. (laughs) He didn't even even nibble. He didn't even nibble. Yeah, I think we'll have him in the penalty box no, again tomorrow. Serious, serious he doesn't play right. C, yeah, but I'm serious about that C4 money. Once you, mm-hmm. If you donate that C4 money to a political candidate, mm-hmm. you're not going to get you know, anything tax deductible. We go for five, and we beat up on people all the time. That's right. And if you're In fact, if you have somebody you want us to beat up on, you should let us know about that when you make <laughs> your donation. How about that? We'll beat up people for money right. can we do that yeah, verbally, do that. verbally 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 hypothetically you know, hypothetically you were regular on the show you <laughs> have an excuse for this. Will be, uh, thugs for should hire. i tell you about my plan for syria next <laughs> no stop <laughs> god cj don't make me hurt you <laughs> beating yeah. people up for oh. money yeah. Gonna, oh, you're not going to beat him up for money. You're not what hire me no, to beat I'm him up for money or what? Hire you to do it? Yeah. I'm not going to pay you to do it. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you to do it. Speaking about doing things for money and not doing them for money, check this out. Uh oh, here we go. AT and T sued over refusal to carry Al Gore Zero cable network. Look at that. 
So what they have their that? debut this week, Al Gore's era. Yeah, yeah. In the the largest States. U.S. phone company was sued by Al Jazeera over its refusal to carry the Qatar-based broadcaster's new U.S. cable news channel A-T-T. as part of its pay television A-T-T. service. The Dallas-based company is violating an agreement with Al Jazeera, U.S. unit, by refusing to broadcast the channel. Well, well good I, for AT and T Uverse is all I gotta say. Well, all I, yeah, good for actually, them. You know, and I that's actually, five million subscribers lost, potential subscribers lost right there. They also can't find any advertisers. Oh, They've lost all their advertisers. Oh, okay. I'm reading he here. He, um, and Al Jazeera will be has, advertising. Yeah. I'm sure they lost yeah. all their because of Al Jazeera. Yeah. Well. I actually like watching Al Jazeera because I, I want to hear. I, I want like them, the website. I, I wish they would site. actually tell exactly how they feel and exactly who they are. Let's say jihad is our way, martyrdom is our goal, death in the sake of Allah. Yeah, is the, the highest, highest aspiration. aspiration. And yeah. Making and I want to see that. I want people to see exactly who they are and what they are. I want to see how they showed on their network. Well, I think we already have a preview of that. We have MSNBC, which has been on for years and years, and and nobody believes that. Nobody's raising an eyebrow to that. We do. We do. Yeah, we we, do. To to me, it's opposition research. I mean, I like hearing their stuff. I want to hear them say all these, it makes me know, okay, you guys have once again confirmed that you have not changed, you're still the same people that you always have been, you haven't changed for hundreds and hundreds of years, and you're not ever going to change. So quit But nobody believes it anyway. No? I mean, they come right out and say it, we're going to kill you. Look I at, believe them. Look at Iran, okay? Do you believe them? They Daily. didn't believe Hitler either, did they? No, yeah. they don't. Hello, we're going to kill you. We're going to wipe the Zionist entity off, off the, the face of the earth. Yes. I'll We're developing you. nuclear weapons in order to make that happen. And the world goes, oh, ho hum. Oh, yeah, they're oh, just misunderstood over they there. Don't mean it. Yeah, they just have they're a just peaceful blow. civilian nuclear program. They're just blowing off steam. They're so they're rhetoric. not dependent on uh, oil, which comes from where? Exactly. The Persian Gulf? Gulf. Right. These people have a shortage of electricity in their country? I don't think so. I'll tell you who is aware of the philosophy and the danger of the Muslim Brotherhood. Okay. And that is the people that used to live there that are here now. Oh, there's a good story. Here is something. This is one of the best things that I've seen in a while. Go ahead and read that one. All right. U.S. Egyptians plan to rally at White House against Brotherhood terrorism. U.S. Egyptians plan to rally at White House. Are they Coptic Christians? And yes, uh, probably uh, mostly. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, they have a right to protest the White House, and uh, yeah, come on back to here. If they have a right to protest. I mean, I mean. What wait a minute. Do, wait I mean, a minute. Even Bob Beckel is upset about this. Let's let's stop and explore the enormity of that. Egyptian Americans right. are protesting in front of. The White House, right. where the President of the United States mm-hmm. lives, right. against what's happening in Egypt, Egypt. Right. to the Christians in Egypt. Right. Now, how much coverage, now, have, how much coverage <coughs> has that gotten on the mainstream media? How, Not, no, how and I upside down? Zero how upside down is U.S. foreign policy? Mm-hmm that Egyptian Americans are gathered in front of the White House to protest against the president right. for supporting terrorism Muslim Brotherhood. It and the Muslim be, Brotherhood. It has to be really bad. I you know t- where else they're going other than the White House? You know where it's going to wind up? Yeah! CARES, Cares headquarters. Oh my God, they're actually connecting the dots. That's oh my right. God, White House? Care, care, Egypt. Yeah. Oh my God! What a! I've never seen that connection before, CJ. Right. Well, that's and the reason why they chose the offices of care is because they consider care to be the symbol of the Muslim Brotherhood in the United States. The Council of the America. two symbols of the Muslim Brotherhood in the United States, according to Egyptians who should know, right, are the White House 
and the headquarters of the Council of American Islamic Relations. And you think Coptic American Christians don't know what the heck is going on over in Egypt? They I mean, do. I, I've actually, I've gone, I've gone to a lot of the Coptic Christian churches and I've talked with uh, some of the highest people in the Coptic religion. And, mm -hmm. and We've interviewed to, some of them on, a, on our them, show. Some of them, and they know exactly what is happening over in Egypt with the Coptic Christians, why it is happening. They know exactly who CARE is. And this is not me talking to them or educating. I come in there off the street and say, hey, what do you know about you know, uh, CARE? And what do you know about the uh, you know, problems in Egypt with the Coptic Christians? And it says, oh, you don't, what you were saying, we've known that for decades. America is so far behind on what Islam is over in Egypt and in the Middle East and who they are. You guys are just stupid. I, we cannot, we laugh all the time how stupid you are about Islam. And Well, actually, if they're here, let me tell you something. They're not laughing right now right. because the reason why they fled their native country was because of Islam. Okay, and they come here, and what do they find? They find them. Well, this is the, th these are the Coptic Christians. They probably. see it, it. They see it starting here. And you know what? And then this is how bad it is with the Coptic Christians. They know Islam so well. They know what's happening. They see what's happening in America with the White House and everybody else. They're they're at the point where they're. They don't. They won't want to talk about it in public. They don't want to say anything about no, it in public. No, of course not. What they what they fear is not only reprisals here in the United States, but more importantly, but against their families. Against back their home. families, they yeah. figure if they come out and say anything publicly yeah. here, you know, it's like come on the show or something like that. Right. They won't come on the show. Right. Because they are they're afraid that if they find out or this show gets broadcast on the internet and it goes back to Egypt. They, they just don't fear it. They know it. They know that their uh, family's going to get killed. They know that their friends are going to get killed. They know it. And, you know, I honestly can't blame them, you know. I just... Can I read you, you know? a quote from the story from the organizers? Please, yes. The objective is to expose and denounce the terrorist acts by the Muslim Brotherhood and its allies and to expose the bias of the Obama administration and certain American media towards the Brotherhood. The demonstration will then head to the headquarters of the Islamic organization CARE, which acts as the, quote, embassy of the Brotherhood's there international organization in Washington. The well embassy. Well said. The right. Yeah. Can't disagree with them. Yeah. So maybe we'll get some footage of that from later today and we can show it tomorrow. Yes. That would be good. Yeah, I think that would be good. But um, but another story that we've been uh, that we're following has to do with a march that's going to take place in oh, Washington or in on 9/11. Come on as a guest with us. How how that right. booking go, Damon? Uh, the the with the MDI alarm. We're we're still having them on the uh, show one, tomorrow, at right? At one twelve in the morning last night. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I received an email from uh, the organizers, and he said, quote, something came up. We're going to have to rebook. So the organizers of what? The rebook organizers what? of the Million Muslim March. Oh, MD Alam? Yes. MD Alam is not going to be on the show tomorrow. Um, his handler or What a surprise. Manager, another one of our Islamic guests cancels at he the said, Well, wait a minute. I mean, we don't, he probably has a lot of... He probably has a lot of bookings, but let's just talk about for a second, if we could, right. of how ridiculous it is that a million Muslims are going to march up. in Washington. When you have four signed up. On 9-11. <laughs> what Muslims are On 9-11. Now, how many Muslims are there anyway in the United States? Well, there's not a million of them. Two point. I mean, there's not a million. Two point three million about, Muslims in the United I'm States. I'm talking about ones that would actually get out there and go and march. There's not a million available. No, of crowd. course not. Of course not. Yes. But there are two million bikers yes. who love this country who are probably going to visit. So. Oh yeah. I, I, See. I, I See how well that worked. That was really good. I would like to take a bet on this. How many of you think? that the Million Man March will actually make 100,000. 
Not me. <laughs> you want to take that one? No. All right. I'll 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 take the under on ten thousand. You take the over on ten thousand or more. Not me. Under under ten thousand. Right, that's mine. Okay. I'll take I the, don't I'll think there will be a thousand people. I'll there. take the under on one hundred, and you take the over, and I'll bet you money on this. Yeah, because it's probably going to get canceled. <laughs> it's going to get canceled. Oh, quick question. Oh, you're funny. It's man. a trick. It's, it's a, a trick. trick question. There is no way in heck that, that, that they're ever going to get 15 people to show up for a million man march in Washington, D.C. on 9 11. I mean, the whole concept is, is just ludicrous. I mean, what are they protesting? What what could they possibly be? Muslim well, dis you know, it, discrimination what? against Muslims, no Muslims in this country since 9/11. That's what they're protesting. Oh, you, my friend, you do Who not know is, what to speak, you little Jewish girl. According to the FBI, <laughs> but I'm your favorite infidel. FBI, right, temporarily. Temporarily. According to, I actually have a graphic for that one. I think. Oh, you do. According to the FBI, if I can find it. Okay. I'll give you the exact percentage. Who is the most discriminated group? In America, as oh, that's far as easy. By religion by re or by race? By religion. It's Jews. It's we all know that. Jewish people. You don't need well, a graphic for you that. You don't need a graphic for that. You just need a, a little well, bit of a brain. I FBI stat, uh, you know, on that, and I will find that one because since we are just kind of winging this show today, yes, I will, we're winging it. I will find this one for you. Okay. And go ahead and talk about uh -oh. something else, and I will it, bring it up. Is Tom slumped over is in the Tom, penalty box? He's, 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 yeah. he's, he's taking a nap. He's, he's taking, taking a nap. nap. <laughs> <laughs> At 5.52 on Thursday. What's the date? 22nd. 22nd. On Thursday, August 22nd. And that means we have how many days until the next election? 440. Does that sound about right? Yes. 440 days until that the elections right. of... November 2014. What do you think people should do between now and November of 2014, guys? Well. Educate, motivate, activate, and get your neighbors, your family, your friends. That's right. Tell people what's going on in this world and why the world isn't going to be how you remember it being if we lose control. I think we have to organize some communities what do you think do you think we have time to do that 400 think, you think we can do that in 440 days i think we do the ex we, we put what we actually i think we put palm beach county uh um, like in 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 the plus column we actually did during the uh, last election yeah out of all the counties in in florida there's only one other county that had a uh, had a very net significant increase in not only voter turnout mm -hmm. for, for the uh, Republican candidate, mm -hmm. presidential versus jo John McCain, mm -hmm. but actually reduced the spread of margin than to the, all the other uh, counties went the other way. Wow. They had a wider uh, margin of victory and also a less, uh, you know, voter turnout. So it was actually, uh, you know, pretty interesting. Okay. But we didn't have much of a start before the last election. No, we didn't. No, we had like yeah. a le late minute start because we came yeah. on the air late. But actually, yeah. I was surprised at what happened that we were able to actually rally so many people together. And we became almost like a, a central hub for everybody to join into and, and coalesce around and give voice to. Right. And I, and I it was really wasn't by design. It just kind of happened that way. And, uh, and I... I liked how it, it got people motivated. So, so with 440 yeah. days to go until the next election, right. if you've already started on your plans for how to turn this area around, turn this country around, take this country back, if you're already working on it, we'd like to hear from you. You can write to tom at trentovision.tv. And let's start keeping track of what people are doing all over the country right. uh, to take this country back in 2014. And especially, um, we'd like to uh, start giving some reports from uh, those of you who are signed up at teapartycommunity.com, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's basically uh, Facebook for conservatives. 
So if you are getting discriminated against or shut down temporarily off of uh, what you're posting on right. Facebook, right. then you might want to check out the TeaPartyCommunity.com to have your um, political discussions and then just use your Facebook mm -hmm. to post your uh, you know, <coughs> family reunion pictures and things like that. In but case you're potential bosses are looking at your stuff. Mm, yeah, that's right. right. Fake Facebook account. That's that right. <laughs> yeah. You are, and you can have your tea party that shows you what Yeah, that right. sounds good to me. No, it's actually, it's actually a, a, That's a good point. No, it's a great place to mm -hmm. add together because, you know, Facebook and all the leftist organizations. And trust me, they're going to be gearing up, you know, social media wise. The next time you should. Well, should, what do you mean they're going to be gearing no, they, up? They, they never are. gear down. They're right. still, yeah, 24-7, 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. The leftist machine in this country is in full running mode. Does it any? never, ever, ever shuts down, ever. You cannot escape it. He's if you go to school, if you watch TV, if you read a newspaper. It's all campaign. <clears throat> all campaign all the time. Yeah, they never stop. Everybody said, well, you know, when's <coughs> Obama going to stop campaigning? Hopefully he might do it before the end of his, uh, his second term. Mm -hmm. He didn't even stop Why, do you in. think he's going to stop at his second term? Oh, no. Oh, he no. was campaigning before his second inauguration. Yeah. And he was com campaigning for congressmen mm -hmm. before his second inauguration. That's amazing. And I understand politicians, you know, campaign, you know, they'd never really totally stop, but... At least presidents in the past, even Clinton, you know, stopped campaigning and actually went. <laughs> even actually Clinton. Some, even <laughs> Clinton stopped campaigning. And this guy has never gone into any type of solution mode. I mean, what has he done? What, what has he actually done? Nothing. And now I say, oh, well, he's campaigning for the midterm election so he can get the, the, the both sides of the House of the Representatives and the, and the Senate on his side so we can get some policies passed. Well, he had that well, in the first two years, and he did nothing with it. Check out the summer. Obamacare. Check out the summer report card and balance that against... Um, massive bailouts with taxpayer money, right. the coming Obamacare um, catastrophe that's going to hit this country, the so-called phony scandals of this administration, the IRS, Benghazi, right. Bin Laden. Everything. Okay. Everything's Hey, does anyone know if Tom's Compare coming back and for contrast. jumping Freaky Friday? <laughs> yeah, we think Tom <laughs> might be coming back tomorrow. What time do we need to go till? Well, Tom, Tom promised me he was going we have, to go we have to... We two minutes left. We have two oh. minutes. We have two Tom minutes left on our... He promised me he was going to go to Juma Prayers with me tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, Juma Prayers. Jumping Juma. Yes. Oh. Tom, had, Tom made explicit promise that he would attend with We can me. expect to see well, a rise you know in violence in the Middle East. I then. think one of the th stories we should talk about tomorrow is how there are pre-printed forms that you can download off the internet now mm -hmm. um, that, ex that are excusing students from attending school between 12.30 and 3 on oh, Fridays good, so good. that they could attend uh, Jump and Juma. Oh, it is about time. No, yeah. I mean, you know, kind of like the cabbies do. So, uh, so <laughs> I think we need to cover that story tomorrow on run Friday. Are they cabs if they don't? Oh, okay. my gosh. All right. Well, we have... Well, thank you for bearing with, with us that. today yeah, on a Tomless day. Yes, on a I miss the Ayatollah. He'll be back. Of Islamophobia. Anyway, so it's, we're going to say goodbye right now and have a good Thursday. Keep it safe. See you later. Thank bye you. Bye. I won't say it today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are we done? No, hold on a second. I got to. Don't stop the stream. Don't stop the stream. Ah, oh, just when you thought it was over, it isn't. Oh, look at that. You're watching it on your computer. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty fancy.